I was uh, visiting my dermatologist for a completely different reason. I had a spot on my nose, so they biopsied the site, sent the biopsy off, and it came back basal cell carcinoma. Hey, Sean, how are you? Dr. Jaffe, nice to see you. Nice to see you. Okay, so you've been diagnosed with basal cell skin cancer. Are you familiar with basal cell? I am somewhat. Cancer, the yeah. first, you know, I'm 39, a father of two. It, it kind of made me take a couple steps back. You know, the, the thought of somebody essentially cutting tissue out of you uh, is, mm -hmm. is scary. But um, honestly, after speaking with Dr. Jaffe and, and his nurse, Sabrina, mm -hmm. I, was, I was definitely put at ease. And um, the, the fear factor definitely subsided to, to virtually none. So in terms of the Mohs process, basically what will happen is we're going to get the area numb after it's marked, and then I'll come in and remove the area with the scalpel. We then check that tissue under the microscope while you wait. And I map and orient the tissue in a way where I know, if you can imagine the a face of a clock, if there's any positive cells at, let's say, 2 o'clock, I can then come back, bring you back in the room, take a little bit more at 2 o'clock, and preserve the rest of the normal tissue. And so in that way, the Mohs procedure does the best job at tissue sparing or leaving as much normal skin as possible while maximizing the removal of the tumor cells. Okay? Do you have any questions before we start? Um, after you know them walking me through the procedure and then you know actually going through the procedure, um, I was extremely impressed at how efficient, how thorough, and um, ultimately how little I did feel through the uh, through the entire process. Good morning, Sean. I'm Dr. Eshbaugh. I have good news. Dr. Jaffe got all the tumor out. Oh, wonderful. Thing. We're going to get you reconstructed today while you're here. I'm going to go over the options with you and we'll get you uh, banished up at the end. The nurse will go over uh, how to take care of it and we'll be seeing you in follow up to make sure it heals uh, perfectly. Okay? Thank you. All right. It was definitely uh, much easier than I expected, um, but that was due to, you know, obviously the expertise and, and the, uh, the comfort level that, um, you know, the staff made me feel. You are done. Yay. <laughs> you know, this was a huge eye-opener for me, so scary. I see you had your stitches out about a week and a half after the surgery. Everything appears to be healing nicely. There's a little bit of redness there, which is typical this early after the surgery in the healing process. So it's very important to use the scar fading cream that we talked about and keep it out of the sun. The scar fading cream has a sunblock in it that will help with that redness. If it persists, we have a little laser we can use to zap that and it'll make that redness feel, uh, heal faster, okay? Having this one skin cancer here puts you at a little bit higher risk for having another one in the future. So it's very important to get the regular screening by your dermatologist. Okay? Okay. Very good. Do you have any questions? No. I all right. Answer. Very good. We'll see you at your annual screening, all right? Thank you. Very good. I couldn't be more happy with the outcome that I've received, one from the cosmetic side, to, but also from the, the peace of mind and the ease that I was put to by not only Dr. Jaffe, but the staff at River Chase Dermatology. I feel that uh, my care was, was, one, unbelievable, but also I, um, I left there knowing that I did the right thing. It, having a family, it gave me the opportunity to reflect and say that I need to educate my children now at an early age, and I need to uh, also prevent anything f from the future for myself, so ultimately we wear sunscreen once we uh, once we step out the door now. I am part of the River Chase family right now. I, I can tell you that from from being greeted at the front desk to uh, you know to the nurses to the physicians to you know all the ancillary staff it was it was just an unbelievable experience.